So we, there are so many, we see a lot of patients. In our hygiene, we've had patients that we see for now decades between ourselves and our predecessor, Dr. McGrail. And a lot of patients come in and their medications are changing, their medical history is changing. And a lot of them are dealing with dry mouth. Now dry mouth is more of a overall general dentistry concern less than a periodontal concern, but it's a real, real issue because what it does is creates cavities. If somebody has dry mouth, they're way more prone to developing cavities. And in fact, you may have a patient who's never had any cavities for a good 40, 50 years. Suddenly they get to the 60s, their medications are changing, they're taking medications for blood pressure, diuretics, antidepressants, and a whole host of other medications, very, very common medications. And they develop dry mouth. All of a sudden, this same patient can be diagnosed with three, four, five different cavities in five different areas. That is really a concern because it can completely disorganize their mouth. It can cause pain, financial burden, burden from taking off work, burden from taking off of activities, family support, and so on and so forth. So here at Synergy, we're really trying to establish a more of a, of a solid protocol understanding that we would like to partner with the general dentist in, in combating this issue and a very straightforward preventative series of measures may include the following high fluoride prescription toothpaste Prevident that's one of the brands that we typically use and these are to be used by the patient typically at night right before they go to bed that's a one great strategy to add to the preventative measure of somebody not having enough saliva and not having the ability to buffer out and dilute the acid because that's how dry mouth works. You don't have the saliva, the acidity is not getting buffered out and basically the teeth are eaten away by acid. So without having the saliva, the fluoride basically coats and seals and seals the type of uh, structure that the teeth have, makes them more resistant to break down from, uh, from acid. So that's one good way to do it. Another great way to do it is when you see your hygienist, either at your regular six month recall or even by increasing the frequency every three months, let's say, you can ask them to apply professionally fluoride around the mouth after they're done with the cleaning. That's great. It's probably the most impactful, very affordable way of preventing new cavities. A third way that I prefer, because I do drink a lot of coffee, in case you haven't noticed, is walk around with alkaline water. And alkaline water does not necessarily do anything better i like the taste of it but what it really does is it allows whatever acidity there is in the mouth to buffer out faster because the ph is very high when there's acidic environment the ph is very low by getting alkaline water whether it's this brand or whatever other brand they're actually very common on drugstores supermarkets and so on and so forth this is a great way to make sure that your mouth stays hydrated and if you have the high pH on those alkaline waters, now the acidity can get buffered out in a much more rapid way and hopefully reduce that risk of cavities. Here you go, three easy ways to combat dry mouth and their effect on producing cavities.